everyone and welcome to my organized life where I'm trying to get my life organized. If you are new to the channel, a big welcome and hello to you. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for being here and welcome back. I'm so happy to have you here. So today we're going to be doing a plan with me video and I'm going to be planning out the third week of April, I believe. Yeah, the third week of April. Um, I'm recording a little bit in advance to save myself some time later on this week because I don't know if I'll have time to record this. So I don't know what my work schedule is, but we're gonna kind of wing it and just leave a few stickers out. And then I'll just come in and update with a short video before I edit this. That way I can get everything out in time. Let's dive on in. So if you don't know already, I buy printable stickers and then I do cut them out by hand with scissors. The stickers that I got um, for this year were from the Design Sticker Store and I'm actually just going to put a clip up to show you guys what this month's stickers are and um, what you'd get when you bought this kit versus what I've edited. So I'm going to pop that up shortly and if you want to skip that I will leave a timestamp that you can try and click to at the bottom here if you want to just skip over that. Hi everybody! So this is just a short video clip where I'm going to show you this month's theme and I bought all of my um, themed sticker kits this year from the shop design sticker store on um, Etsy. So I will have everything linked in the description as I probably already said in the video but just in case. The theme that I chose for this month is called Bunny on a Bike and these are the pages that it comes with when you buy that theme. So I do buy printable stickers and then I cut them out by hand. So I just use scissors and cut them out. Um, I do believe that she has, I can't quite remember, she either has silhouette cut files or in Cricut. I'm not sure which one it is. So feel free to check out the link in the description box below if you want to see what's available. So these are the three pages that come with the kit. So we've got some bottom washi, and of course this is Easter themed, super adorable. We've got some little icons, some deco trackers, we've got some little functional boxes here, and then some full box deco, I love that. And then some full boxes, and I love the ones that are kind of split up, although I feel like I have to have them <laughs> beside each other to make sense, so put those in some special spots. So that is the first page. And then we've also got some functional half boxes, some pay bill stickers, trackers, um, a reminder to buy stickers from what shop, how much, a road trip sticker. And then she's got some script stickers here. So she's got laundry, payday, me time, Instagram, planning time, happy mail, and hello weekend. We've got a couple more functional boxes here and some, I don't know what you would call these. They're kind of like tracking, like full boxes, checklists. I'm not really sure, but super cute and then we've got some little icon circles so there's a happy birthday this one says yay this one says party and then we've got a heart a bow and an asterisk and then we've got a little birthday and two dollar tuesday sticker there so that is the second page and then we've got some headers so we've got today to do and then some bow headers which are super adorable we've got the days of the week that also match that uh, bottom washi which is super cute um, that we've got our date dots some bows um, a monday through sunday tracker and then we've got some glitter headers and then some other headers there's to go to buy dinner next week this week notes and budget we've got some tv trackers meal trackers empty trackers or squares whatever you would want to use them for there's a couple other empty boxes here and then we've got some work stickers so that is the third page so I do have Photoshop and I go through and edit the stickers I buy for my own personal use because I like to use these stickers throughout the entire month. So of course I would need three more sets of Monday through Sunday stickers for the most part depending on how the month is and how it is in my planner depends on how many of these I need. I would need around four sets of bottom washi, that kind of stuff. And just to make the stickers a little bit different because I don't want to get bored when I'm using them throughout the month. I do go through and edit them um, just to match the color scheme but in different colors. So I'll show you that now. So let's see here. I did do up a couple of the heart checklists in different colors. I printed off some more of the meal trackers, blank trackers, and a couple more TV trackers. 
Um, I printed off quite a few more work stickers and changed the color of some of them, so I added in some blue ones, some pink ones. Um, I did change the color of these boxes as well, as well as I added some more glitter headers and changed the color. Um, I do use the This Week Budget and Next Week script headers quite a bit, so I put in some more of those and changed the color, changed the color of the tracker, added in some more boxes, and then some more of the script stickers, because I love those. And then here is the page where it's mostly just bottom washi and extra days of the week stickers that I'm going to need throughout the month. I do have a couple boxes here that I also changed the color on. They were blue in the original. And then just an extra payday sticker because I've got two paydays throughout the month. So I've got one here and I needed another one. Some other boxes. And then this one I accidentally printed off. And ugh. I went through and edited stickers before and I had only done one page and then I decided to, with a fresh mind on what I needed, I decided to go through and redo it. So I made two pages of extra stickers that I would need, but I accidentally printed off this one too. I should have deleted it. It was named differently, but I just printed them all off out of my folder and uh, my mistake. So unfortunately I do have some extras for March, which I already have a lot of extras. So these are stickers that are probably not gonna get used. Um, so <laughs> kind of kicking myself in the butt there. But on the plus side, I think that I can use some of these kind of functional stickers like the pay bill stickers. I'm sure I'll have some themes that kind of match these because I love pastels. So I'm sure I'll have some more pastel themes showing up in the future. And then I do have some more extra script stickers here, some more boxes that I also edited the color of and some more trackers that I edited the color of. Um, for the April theme. So did not mean to print this off, but I've got a few extras. Um, don't know if I really need them, but yeah, so those are the edited stickers. And I just like to put that in there. That way you guys don't think that you're getting ripped off if you buy these stickers from her and then they don't match mine because I do edit them. So, but these are the stickers that she comes with her kit. I highly recommend her stickers. They are gorgeous. They are made for the Erin Condren planner, so they don't fit my planner exactly, but they fit really well. Well enough for me for sure. So that's this month's theme and let's get back into the video. All right, so those are the stickers for this month. Um, I am loving them. They are so cute and I'm loving using them. Um, so since I cut all of my stickers out by hand, um, I've come up with a few problems and then some solutions as a result. It would take me forever to cut out the stickers that I need to use, figure out a layout, and then film. It takes me usually a couple hours just to cut stickers out and decide on a layout. And when I first started recording my Plan With Me videos, we had a whole bunch of little cutout stickers that I then had to kind of organize and peel the backings off. And it just took so long and was just excessive and just super chaotic and I didn't like that. So I did end up buying some sticker release paper off of Amazon, which is basically like sticker backing paper. So it's just basically like a smooth um, paper and the stickers stick to it no problem. I can take them off, I can move them around. They don't stick to it enough that they don't come off. It is absolutely amazing, it has been a lifesaver. So I do have tabs separating um, the stickers that I bought from different people. So these are my Print Petticoat Bandit stickers. I bought some office stickers from her as well as some cleaning stickers. I don't have all of them in here. These are only a few of the ones that um, I think I'll use. I have others that I think I'll use and then there was a bunch that I didn't print off because I don't think I would use them so you definitely get a lot. Um, also everything will be linked in the description box below. All of the stuff that I bought off of Etsy will have their own links and then everything that I use on Amazon and then some will be in one link that will take you to my idealists. Um, and they are all organized into different categories so you can hopefully easily navigate through those and find what you're looking for. Um, just a disclaimer, that link may or may not be an affiliate link now or in the future. I have no idea, but just so you know. <laughs> um, so next is the Paper Crown Planner. I love her icons, they are so cute. So she's got two different type of payday stickers. She's got the wallet and then the stack of cash. Um, two different types of credit card stickers, um, a little savings piggy bank, I love that one, and then two different colors of the cash envelope stuffing stickers, so cute. And then there's planning with V, so these are ones that I edited. I mostly just use the film edit and upload and then sometimes the comment stickers. Um, so I edited these into just those three and then the colors 
to match the themes. And then these are the original ones. She also had voiceover stickers, um, film stickers with a little camera. These ones, which I believe are edit stickers, not really sure. And these are her original colors. And then she also has these little dot versions as well. So then these are previous months, uh, the leftovers of the stickers that I had. That's one unfortunate thing with printing them off is I never really know how much I need and I also don't want to waste sticker paper. So I really want to make sure that I'm filling up the whole page when I print stickers off. So it's kind of a guess and hoping for the best type situation. So quite a few leftovers. And then at the back, if I can get to this flap, at the back I've got my washi, which I really need to finish swatching out because So that is all I have for now and then this is just some extras paper that I don't have use for yet but probably will in the future. So we're going to be using those. All right, I'm not sure what else I will end up using but I will just list things as I go and then again everything will be linked in the description box below. Everything I'm using and then some. Um, I'm also going to be using these little reverse tweezers just for precision. I love these. They are great. So with all of that being said, let's go ahead and dive on in. So this is my planner. It is a recollections planner from Michaels. Little sticker bits everywhere apparently. So let's skip to... Not March. We need April. So as always, this is my dashboard. This is when I hope to get videos up. I like to have it all laid out. That way I can see how much content I'm bringing you to you guys. Make sure that it's a little bit spread out nicely. So there's week one. Week two, which we are currently on. Today is Wednesday, so I am right on track for once. And I have completed... Oh, I don't... Oh, I did do laundry. I just haven't folded it. So I'm very bad for that. Is there anybody else who does laundry and then they take like five to seven business days to fold and put it away? Or sometimes they just leave it in their basket and basically just use them out of the basket until it's time to do laundry again. I do that all the time. Um, it is a rare occasion where I fit, uh, wash, fold, and put away all in one day. <laughs> so that's why that's not checked off yet. Um... So we are going to be planning for the 12th through to the 18th. As always, I'm going to um, do the days of the week, date dots and bottom washi, and then we'll dive on into everything else. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll start with Monday. So since I don't know whether I work or not, I'm gonna leave all of these top headers left open and then as long as I have the majority of this recording done today, that'll save me some time later on and then I'll just do a quick update of finishing this top header before we finish it off when I do get my schedule. And I do apologize for the state of my nails. I know they look terrible. I completely busted this one off at work. It is so sore. Um, I do have a nail appointment tomorrow though, thank goodness, because this just is so short and it feels weird and oh, it's just not, not a happy nail, that's for sure. Okay, so I'm not going to do any of the top headers. So I'm going to start here. So I do have the Instagram giveaway for my second job. I assume I'm going to work Monday, Tuesday, and then Saturday and Sunday, but I don't know yet. And this, we're just going to place it here just a little bit over this box, that way it doesn't go over the space where the header's gonna go. And I'm gonna add a This Week header underneath there. Um, these stickers were also designed for the Erin Condren planners, so they don't fit in this planner perfectly, but they fit well enough for my liking, and I love how they look in here. 
And then of course my uh, my cut job, since I cut them by hand with scissors, is not always perfect. So. So I'm just going to put a reminder in here that I need to have this video ready to upload by Monday. So that gives me lots of time to edit and throw in my work schedule here. And then I do like to have uh, meal trackers all along the bottom to track what we're eating. On Tuesday for my second job, I've got the VIP group giveaway at four. I'm going to pop in a little bit of deco here, which I did have to print off some more deco. Definitely did not print off enough for the month. But I was able to fill a whole page, and I think most of it will get used, so... I'm going to use this little half box with a bow here as a note that I need to cut stickers for the plan with me for the following week. And then we'll put a little bit of deco above that. Throw in a pink glitter header here. You can tell that the glitter headers are my favorite. I love them, they're so pretty. There's a reminder that I need to upload my cash envelope stuffing video here, so I'll be recording that on Friday and it will be uploaded on Tuesday. And then try and watch a show with the kiddo on Tuesdays. Haven't started a new series yet, haven't quite found one that we both like, so we're gonna have to work on that. And then meal tracker at the bottom. So then on Wednesday, I'm assuming I have the day off, but again, I don't know. So we're just going to put this full box up top here, because I usually don't do a whole lot on Wednesdays. We'll throw in a to-do header underneath that. A little bit crooked, but that's okay. And then I'm going to put in this blue half box here, and I'm actually gonna put my planning time sticker on that. Do I want it centered, or let's put it kind of off center here. So on Wednesday, we're gonna try and film plan with me week four. Green glitter header here. You just try and watch a show with the hubby or just by myself, depending on what his plans are. I usually go to bed pretty early since I'm up at five in the morning every day and he stays up late. So we don't always find the time to watch shows together. Normally by the time he's ready to sit in front of the TV, I'm usually already asleep. Put a little bit of deco in there. So Thursday, pretty sure I won't end up working Thursday. I'm gonna put the other piece to this half box. Thursdays and Wednesdays, uh, half box, full box. Thursdays and Wednesdays full boxes go together. So of course we have to have those beside each other. And let's see, we're gonna throw in a blue glitter header below that. And then since this isn't a payday week, I'd like to try and take advantage of having a few less videos to record. And I'd like to record part one and part two of my color along for my other channel. And then I'd also like to record my May budget spread for my budget book. I'd like to set that up and get that going. not going to put in a header here. Instead, we're going to throw this sticker in, but I think I'm going to throw in my meal tracker first, just to make sure I leave enough room for that. And since I have a little bit of extra room up here, it doesn't have to perfectly be on that header line. Put it right there. Okay, so 
Friday for my second job. We've got the website giveaway at 9. And then... I'm going to use this half box with a bow to put my Me Time sticker over. And I think I'm going to center that off this way, or off-center that this way. Kind of opposite of the planning sticker. We're going to put in a budget sticker, and I'm going to actually try to film, edit, and upload and actually do my budget check-in for once. I think I have a better way to do it so that way I can still um, put it up on the channel, but have it a little bit more interesting, not so boring and super short. So we'll try it and see if it works and go from there. So I'd like to film, edit, and upload that. Okay, I'm gonna line up these stickers. And we'll put in a meal tracker at the bottom. Apologies if you can hear the hubby DIYing in the house. He's working on hiding our cable cord underneath the carpet. He kind of moved stuff around yesterday. So now he's trying to make it look nice. Okay, so Saturday, don't usually end up doing a whole lot. I usually work Saturdays and the weekends. I try and spend my afternoons with the boys since I always work in the mornings. But it is going to be an editing day. I usually get some editing done after the little man goes to bed. So we'll put a gold glitter header underneath that. And then, oh, let's see here. I'm going to have my Hello Weekend sticker going in on there. So let's kind of start from here. I'm going to use this as in place of the header here. So I do have my bank fees coming out on the 17th for $15.90, so I'll put that there. And then I'd like to edit um, my May budget spread and April week four's plan with me. Throw in a meal tracker at the bottom, and then just a little bit of deco here. Okay, and then Sunday, again, not doing a whole lot. I like to put up a reminder that I need to upload videos for the next week. So I need to upload April, oops, I put week five on that. That's supposed to be week four. Let's see if I can fix that. I also used a different pen for writing in this and I didn't like it at all. I think so far I like my uh, just normal black pen. It seems to write a little bit smoother and a little bit darker, which I like. And then I also need to upload the May budget spread, which is going to be, so this is going to be uploaded on Monday and this is going to be uploaded on Tuesday, I believe, but I'm not 100% sure. I'll have to check that out. We're going to put in a light pink glitter header here, and then we'll put in our Hello Weekend sticker, which I didn't leave room for because I totally forgot. Let's see if I can lift these. Okay, so we'll move this down a little bit. deco here. I didn't realize that I had two bikes right beside each other. I'm not sure if I like that. Um, I might change that out for one of the blue bikes. Let's see if I've got one here. Okay, so I've got 
one right here. I'll just cut this one out and I'm going to use that instead. Okay. So let's put him right there. I like that better and then it kind of matches in with this one, but I don't have two right beside each other. Put a to-do header right here. A meal tracker at the bottom and this day I'm gonna have to do laundry. So I'm just gonna have my laundry sticker right here I think. Okay let's go in and see what other stickers we can add. So I don't need my planner because I've already got a planning time sticker here. I think I will throw in a laptop or two. Let's put one right here. And then maybe one just kind of in between these two here. Let's see what else we got. So I will need little scissors. That's one bad thing about this sticker backing paper is cat hair and like stuff to stick to it. But I keep a little lint roller and before I lay any of my stickers down, I just lint roll it to make sure nothing gets stuck to them. And it seems to work pretty good. So we're gonna put stickers there. Um, let's see, we'll grab a little pencil here. I like to put this on my budgeting headers. And then since we're recording here, maybe I'll stick in a camera. Didn't really leave a whole lot of room, but just go like that. And then laundry stickers for sure. I'll just use what I have. I still haven't gone through and oh, we already have a washer. So let's see. I guess we just have folded towels. I have more than this, but I haven't. I haven't cut them out and added them here yet, which I really should do. There's those cut out. So let's start with the little clothesline here. We'll figure out where we want that. So I'm thinking kind of, let's go like right here between the two boxes. And then we'll put in the little laundry basket just right here. I like that. All right, what else? I won't be using any of the Paper Crown Planner stickers. I usually only use hers when my Walmart MasterCard is due. I'll use one of the little credit cards or on a payday, I'll use one of those. Um, could do a cash envelope stuffing sticker here, actually. Let's do that. We'll use one of the green ones, or white ones, white and green. So just put that there. Don't need any of planning with these stickers. Don't need any of those. Might throw in some washi, not really sure. Okay, so let's do the sidebar next. So I didn't have a lot of stuff for the sidebar. I'm gonna start from the bottom up. So this, I use um, a tracker on the sidebar of each week, and what I do is once I have everything done on that day, I check mark that day off. That way, if I missed anything, I can just go back and look, and that's how I knew here that I missed laundry, because I looked here and I didn't have Sunday checked off, so then I can go through on Sunday and see what I missed and make sure I get that finished. So that's what I use that for. 
Um, I'm also going to use this to track my steps because we have a challenge at work right now. I uh, work at 7-Eleven and we're doing a contest with in all the stores in our area. So the store that gets the most steps in with all its employees by the end of the month um, gets to choose what charity 7-Eleven donates to. So that's pretty exciting. Um, I've always tracked my steps, but now I definitely have a purpose to and a reason to get more steps in. So that's what I'll be using that for. Put this little bunny right above that. And then I was originally going to put this here, but now since I'm tracking my steps, um, or since I know that I should be tracking my steps, I'm not going to put that there. I think instead I'm going to try and pop it up here. Maybe just right like that, that looks cute. So I'll put that there. And then at the top here, I'll throw in this Happy Easter full box. Even though it's not Easter anymore, but this kit is Easter themed, so might as well use it. And then I'm just going to put a bow header in underneath that. And then I think what I'm gonna do, bump the camera, sorry. So these are um, my budget stickers from the Happy Planner. So I think I'm going to grab a weekly spending tracker. I was hoping those would fit in there, but I don't know if it's going to. It might not. I wonder if they have a smaller version. Let me just see here. Put a no spend challenge. No, I really want to do this, so I'm going to move this one off for just a sec. See how much room this would take up. move this right up to the top here, so right up against the sticker. I ended up messing up the corner there, but that's okay. Okay, and then I'm going to put, oops, I'm going to put this sticker directly under that, see if I can try and line it up kind of straight. Well, that works. Then let's see if we can squeeze her in here. It's a little crooked. There we go. Could have also put her here and filled this spot in. Yeah, I don't want to move her again. Let's see if there's anything else I can put there. Let's put one of these goal stickers here. This one up, I am going to move her to here. Oh no, did you wreck that sticker? Okay, 
she can go there. And then my Save More sticker can go here, and I think we'll leave it at that. Might need something to cover this now that I kind of wrecked it a little bit there. Let's see if I can find like a small little flag or something. There, I'm just gonna put in this little dot circle thing here. Maybe let's put one more up top. A blue one of the same. There we go. That looks cute. I like that. Okay, and then lastly, I'm going to grab my um, stencils here. And I'm just going to use these little square check boxes to write in some squares to check mark these off. So we'll put the Instagram giveaway square right here. Put one there. Check marking things off really, and like seeing it check marked off on here really helps <laughs> with the uh, that feeling of getting stuff done. Maybe I should have moved those scissors over. I didn't really leave enough room. I don't know if I can lift them from where they are. Might be able to. Nope, just gonna end up ripping them. Okay, we will put a checkbox right beside that. Doesn't look the best, but it's there. Checkbox here. Didn't leave enough room for checkboxes on these. Just put one kind of half coming off the side. That's fine. website giveaway and then put one down here for laundry too so I check mark that when laundry's fully done including being put away <laughs> there we go so I think that's everything so for this week I'm going to be tracking my spending and then my steps and this is everything that I've got going on throughout the week so it's still pretty minimalistic, but I really like it. Uh, a lot of white space, but I'm liking that for this kit because it really works since there's already a lot of white and just super light colors. So I like that. All right, so that is what we've got so far. And then I am going to check in once I get my schedule and I'll finish putting the top headers up there and I will meet you back when that happens. All right, so I am back and I'm definitely glad that I held off on the work stickers because I was right on the days that I work, but I actually work one more day. So instead of four days, I'm working five days this week, which I'm going to be straight up honest. I'm not happy about Back when I was going to quit at the store, I made a deal with my boss that I would work three days a week, four days if she absolutely needed me to. Five days is a little bit crazy though. It doesn't give me a whole lot of time to get stuff done and I really need to uh, do a lot of recording and stuff. So I don't really like doing all of that recording just in two days. Um, it's just a little bit annoying and then it makes it so I don't have as much time to spend with the boys, which is a number one priority. So I'm gonna do what I can there. Maybe I'll try and get a little bit of recording done on Wednesday too, just to make it so my days off aren't so silly but i guess actually my little guy will be back at school this week so as long as i can get my recording done before he gets home maybe it won't be such a big deal okay so i work monday and tuesday and then i work wednesday i had to cut out a new work sticker so i wasn't really expecting to work wednesday That there. And then I also work Saturday and most likely Sunday. Um, 
my planner goes from Monday to Sunday, which I actually like that, but I don't usually get the schedule until sometime in here, so I don't really know. Let's see, I didn't even fill this in, so I do work Sunday, I believe. I'm trying to use the same pen. This is the pen that I really like. Okay, so I work six to two this day, but I used this pen for the spread, so I'll use this one. And then I work six to two for all of these days. And I'm not sure about this one yet. Okay, and then I need to decide between the other three headers that I had picked out on which ones I'm going to use. Okay, I'm gonna use the green glitter header and then I had two today headers chosen as well, so I'll just use one of those. Okay, and then I also forgot to fill this out. This one is going to be up on Monday and this one is going to be up on Tuesday. There, and I think that's everything filled in. So that is this plan with me completely done. I really love the minimalistic looks of these spreads with the really light colors. It's very minimal, but so like aesthetically pleasing at the same time. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you did like this video, would you please give it a thumbs up? And if you are not already, feel free to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that way you're always notified of when I upload. But yeah, that's everything. Again, I hope you enjoyed and hopefully I will see you in the future. All right, guys, as always, take care. Bye.